Hey guys! Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Kalatia Plant Diary continuation. But before we do that, I just want to thank everyone who has been watching my Kalatia Plant Diaries and all the videos that related to my prayer plants or Kalatia plants. Um, so yeah, they are my most viewed uh, plants videos. So I can't thank you enough guys. Thank you. So if you have any uh, suggestions regarding my Kalatia plants or prayer plants, feel free to leave a comment below. So without further ado, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell and help my channel grow and get your tea ready. And let's get into this video. Okay guys, meet my six Kalatia plant in my collection, my Kalatia Alberti Eye. One of the more underrated Calatia or prayer plants out there because I don't see this plant very often in the market and I don't see a lot of people talking about this plant either. Probably there's not a lot of people own this one but please don't quote me on that. This is only based on my research. I actually found some details from Wikipedia which was written in Visaya. It's actually one of our dialects in the Philippines but because I don't speak Visaya I can only understand a little because my parents were born in Bohol and I was brought up hearing them speaking this dialect. Uh, my siblings and I were all born in Manila which is the capital of the Philippines where the common language is Tagalog. So I asked my mom to translate it for me and she said that um, fine art and Van Geert uh, named this plant after Liberty Hyde Bailey who was an American horticulturist and botanist and Charles Charles Raffili uh, Charles for Civical Raffili Raffili and this plant is a genus of Calathea as well as Marantosia so yeah, but please correct me if I'm wrong, but here's the trivia for us. Anyway, this is such a beautiful plant. I bought this last year in B&Q and I fell in love with its foliage. I think it's so unique and looks very cartoony like drawing. This is the main reason why I bought this plant and it was on its own so I grabbed it immediately. I love it. So yeah, since I bought this plant, I haven't had any single problem. It's so easy to take care of by neglecting it. Um, yeah, so as long as the soil is down, you are good to go. You can forget about this and it will still grow. In the winter time, this plant loves humidity. It doesn't like dry air or cold climate. I removed lots of leaves from this plant and I gathered some of my prayer plants and let them sit on a big tray full of pebbles and water to help increase the humidity but make sure you don't let sit your plants in water to prevent root rot but despite the fact that this plant was having difficulty in winter time it's still tough and strong prayer plant it's very forgiving i pruned this it didn't throw tantrums at all it's still standing so yeah this is very forgiving plants based on my experience and just love it look at it so pretty isn't it like I said before, Calatia plants like their soil to be moist or damp and this plant is one of them. You don't want this plant completely dry or their leaves will get crispy. Um, you just make sure you don't overwater this plant to prevent root rot as well. If you have moisture meter, use it. I don't have one, I don't need it. But to be honest, I only water this plant once every four to six weeks. I haven't repotted this plant since I bought it last year and it says 10 pounds. It's not expensive for such a big plant. I'm going to repot this guy so keep on watching to see me repotting this uh, Alberti eye. Let's see if Albert has a big root system so keep on watching. <laughs> I fertilized this plant this spring and I used the same fertilizer I used on all my 
house plants as you can see there's a few baby leaves they're light green compared to the matured ones the only downside of this plant is when they produce uh, new leaves it starts like this and then they develop into this beautiful leaves so be aware of that just in case you think uh, why are the leaves like this is there something wrong with the plant there's nothing wrong with it guys it's just the way this plant grow they have different uh, leaf transformation I also noticed this to my Caladia lancifolia but the only difference is the lancifolia the leaf transformation uh, pretty slow compared to this Caladia alberti I was pretty quick what do you think of his foliage guys isn't it gorgeous for me despite the brown tips it's pretty aesthetic i love the edges of the leaves are so wavy it's pretty cool it's very similar to ruby barba is it ruby barba <laughs> which has a red tone under leaf so if you don't like brown tips on your plants then maybe this one isn't for you it requires high humidity to keep those brown tips at bay Personally, I don't mind it too much. It's fairly aesthetic and I love this plant so so much. I love the foliage It's just so pretty guys. It's just so pretty Love it I don't know guys if you have watched my Calatia leopardina's diary I did mention there that there's one prayer plant that is happily growing uh, despite not receiving a lot of light at all this is it my Calatia alberti I told you this plant is pretty tough I love this plant so much this one is sitting on my computer table it is lucky if this plant is receiving any direct sunlight between my north facing window seal and the hallway I doubt it maybe this one of the reasons I don't have to water it so often basically this plant is sitting in dark corner and it's still doing very well how cool is that so if you happen to spot this one in the garden center grab it because it's one of a kind and I think it's uncommon and I don't think uh, a lot of people own this or talking about this plant maybe I have to expand my research this is my Caladia alberti it's so pretty I love the foliage it's easy to take care of and definitely one of a kind alrighty let's repot this plant but first give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already just right there just like right there thank you you take my love for granted say a bunch of stuff you never mean yeah Closer to death.